They always shout, sister, we are not comfortable here. Sister, we are suffering. We actually based on young girls that live in the portals. Sister, so, but our people are, you know, presuming, assuming that they are getting money there, that they are acquiring wealth there. It's not true. My name is Sister Dorothy Chinere Okoli from Nebo in Alka Diocese, but I'm working in Onicha. I'm as well the founder of the, the Save Young Girls Motherhood Foundation. It's an NGO and also our apostolates as a religious women. We actually base on young girls that live in the portals. We bring them out as well, acquire them with some skills. Whenever we visit the portals, we will gather them and interview them one after another. We've um, visited more than 10 portals, both in Anambra State and uh, Delta States. We've met more than 100 young girls in the portals. From our advices and um, counseling services, some of them will leave the portals and uh, to their home directly. Many of them are homeless. They don't have home anymore and some of them are orphans and some of them are jobless. So those who are homeless, they don't have home again. But as well, most of them, they still have home. But because of uh, lack of parental care, having no good parents, they are there. Because we all know what is happening in the society. When you reach at the age of reasoning, your parents will start, especially when you are a female child, especially in the side of the mother, they will begin to pursue you all around to go and do like this, to get it from here, to get it from other place. So in this case, that particular group will find it difficult to go back home. There are some of them who still have good homes, only that uh, they are um, inspired by the bad friends. So people like that, some of them might easily leave the hotel, leave the brothers. Uh, if they are being touched by our counseling services and the uh, word of advice, I have one who is now spotted by a friend, but there are those who are still there. They don't have where to go, they don't have a friend to go. All they need is to stay in a rehabilitation center. Rehabilitation center is where they will be kept. Learning, watching if they, if they have learned something before, they need to be brushed up and they, if they, they are not at all, they need to stay there and learn something. As I said, the environment is so awful and all, so bad, so negative. So uh, you, you cannot understand very well until you approach these people. They, they experience terribly and they horribly. Sometimes you will go there today, you will see them. Maybe after two days you will turn back there, you won't see the person. And they will tell you that they, just a man came in and cut off her head in the process of having sex. And then nobody knows except maybe towards evening they enter the room and found the head inside the toilet. So a lot of things happen to them. None of them will agree with that they feel comfortable in that bottle. They always shout, sister, we are not comfortable here. Sister, we are suffering. Everybody is blaming them. Blaming them. How can they? Okay, last time we went for free medical tests. All of them, they came out for the test. Even requesting more than we planned. Some tests sister HIV. There's sister uh, infection. Sister this, that. And they come out. They responded very well. Surprisingly, when the results came out, most of them are healthy. Most of them are healthy because I, yeah, it's supposed to be like this because initially they told me they are using condom. That they, they made me to know that there is a woman condom. I don't know. So they told me they always apply it to themselves. 
Now we are planning to go and they acquire them inside the brothels. Because we intend to have a rehabilitation center which is not a one-man business. They are ready to accept, to embrace anything that will help them to come out from the brothels. Sometimes we think that the managers or the owners of the protest will not be happy. Uh, we, we didn't experience such. They always accept us. In fact, for them, they are making money from them because they are around. If they didn't see them anymore, then they divert to another business. From our, I'm talking from experience. Because if they are not happy, why should they accept us? Why should they allow us to do whatever you people are seeing in the next? Many, many of them are ready to come out for acquisition of many skills. There is one um, from Enugu State. I met her in Brother located in Onicha. And she told me that she was once a student and in the school she took she took in and gave birth and that forced her to come out from the school and after she was trying to leave the two kids with her mother and the mother said that she is not able or capable to take care of them and she looked up and down she has no help she found no help there is no one to help her not talk of the kids and the mother is equally poor trying to let her know that keeping her children with her is useless and cannot yield any good fruits that the children will suffer so and uh, she herself as she said she was a student and later she she switched, she switched on into business but in the process of doing that business she cannot succeed and now she has a burden of taking care of herself as well as her kids that uh, caused her to make up her mind to run into a hotel for her to get what will be used to take care of her children as well as the mother that is with them because she left the children with the mother in Enugu and she's there in Onicha. I can even call, she can even call me all the time and say, Sister, when are you coming to rescue us from here? She said that at the end of every month, the little she has, she will send to the family. That even if they are sick, they must be forced to go and get the money. Or the way they will chase them away, and the way they chase them away there is not encouraged. Those men that patronizing them in the portals, they are like them. Many, most of them are not behaving well. Most of them are um, radical boys. Most, most of them are even criminals. These, these men, the way they are using them for the business is not normal. Sometimes they will put them and the truth on the bed, trying to kill them. That until if you, you're a lucky person, you shout out that people will hear your voice. If you are not a lucky person, they will kill you there on the bed. They say they always been killed on the business. If when you go there and look at them, then you guess by yourself if they are living a good life. And they don't miss that so, such money we're expecting. No, they don't make it. When DSS was interviewing me, they are trying to, I don't know their intention about that with me. There are some questions they wanted to find out for me. And I, I, I told them, I will not reveal everything. Because I approach them with love. I approach them to help them and not to charge them. Some of them are there as a result of bad parents, as a result of uh, bad training, home bad training. These people are like those girls that are in the protest, tomorrow now they will become parents. And I don't know, I wonder the type of the training they will give their children. All the time, you will be advising a parent to help this child to do this at home. 
to practice it. The person will be telling his sister, he will be what God wants him to be. Eh? That is, we are expecting God to do magic. Sometimes God does magic, but not all the time. I avoid calling them prostitutes. I will try to lower myself to their level. You know, trying to convince them that I didn't come here for them to become Reverend Sisters. Yeah, that I visit them as my friends. And uh, I will try to tell them the implications and the negative effects. Of Some of them are pushed away by their parents.